out of time a miraculous ladybug one shot narrated and written by janet bonia credit to no may 0527 on tumblr for the use of their fan art other than that please leave a like and i hope you enjoy marinette was sitting in a swarm of people who were walking and talking. As usual, she was trying to find some inspiration for her next design. Hmm, you think I've used up all the inspiration this garden gave me, Tiki? Marinette asked, tearing up a page in her sketch pad that had a loosely drawn sketch of a dress cardigan on it. I think most of your inspiration comes from your mind, not the garden itself, Tiki told her open-mindedly. Just think about something that inspires you and build from that. She continued to search for her, for her ideas in her brain, still unable to sketch a creation. Hey, Marinette, Marinette yelped in surprise, causing her to toss her sketch pad in the air and fall to Cat Noir's feet. She was so deep in thought that she didn't notice him behind her. Ugh, oh, Cat, you scared me, she stomped, standing up to grab her designs. Sorry, I didn't know you were so distracted, he apologized, giving her an innocent, sorry smile. I was just cruising around town on patrol and happened to notice you, so I thought I'd say hi. He picked up her sketch pad for her and glanced at a few pages. It's fine. Sorry for flipping out. I just... Can't come up with anything else to draw for my next project, she replied, looking stumped. He shut the book and gave it back to Marinette. Thank you. I'm sure you'll think of something, princess, by the look of those designs. You should be proud, Cat Noir winked, telling his usual witty joke and leaning on his baton. Marinette looked at the shiny green paw print on his stick glowing at her. That's it! I'll make a Cat Noir-inspired design! She quickly sat back down and started drawing some basic sketches of some clothing and accessories, like hats, dresses, or purses. He sat down with her inspecting her designs as she pondered in his direction. Do you mind if you come with me to my house so I can get some more inspiration from your suit? He agreed and unexpectedly carried her all the way to her balcony and into her bedroom. So, what are you thinking of making? A beret, a dress, some cat ears. He emphasized, wiggling his ears for effect. Actually, I want to make a purse. I've only ever had this one, and it'd be cool to make a new one. Especially for... She paused for a millisecond, trying to come up with a viable excuse. Originally, she was going to say Tiki, but... He couldn't know that. Uh, my, my things. To put my things in. She nodded nervously and sat down at her desk to bring out some supplies. Sounds perfect. I'll be glad to lend you a hand if you want me to. Cat came up behind her chair. She was looking at some zippers and trimming them to sufficient lengths. Of course, 
Could you grab some needles and patch fabrics from that drawer there? Sure thing, princess. He opened the drawer to find it cluttered with buttons, needles, fabrics, and other designing necessities. So, how many should I grab? Is there any specific, uh... He turned to show her all the fabrics he had in his hand, only to be surprised to see that he was right in her face, merely centimeters away from hers. She bit her lip, unable to move from their state of awkwardness. I, um, uh, and gazed at his beautiful green eyes like a deer caught in headlights. She didn't know what to do, as the silence felt too peaceful to let go of. Cat Noir made the first move and brushed his lips against hers, cupping his hand around her face gently. Marinette didn't resist, her eyes lingering on his lips a bit longer than she intended on. He slowly pulled away and looked into her gorgeous bluebell eyes one last time. I'm uh, sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't have done that, he blurted, looking away for a second to catch his breath. No, no, don't be sorry. It's okay. I, it was good. No, I mean, um, she shook her head to rid her mind from thoughts of Kissing Cat Noir again. You mean it was Purdy Possum? He winked. What? No. Well, maybe? Pink tints of pl blush spread across Marinette's cheeks. She had to admit, though. Cat's lips felt so soft against hers, and it just felt right. His ring started beeping, marking his exit perfectly. Sorry, princess. Looks like we're out of time. Maybe we could do this again sometime. Not the, uh, kissing part. The designing was fun. Well, uh... Unless you want to kiss again? He rubbed his neck, a bit flustered. Um, I'm gonna go now. He pointed out to the window. She giggled, seeing him out with a wave. Tiki came out of hiding when she was sure Cat Noir wasn't coming back. Wow, Marinette! I thought Cat Noir was just your partner. What made you change your mind? Tiki, I didn't change my mind. He kissed me, she denied. Yeah, but you kissed him back. Or was I imagining that blush on your face? Maybe I just had second thoughts. Marinette plopped on her bed, curling up into a ball of comfort. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. If that's what you want to call it. Sure, Marinette. Tiki furrowed a brow. Marinette suddenly sat up. Wait. What is out of time supposed to mean? Did it, did, did Cat Noir like it too? She squeaked, screaming into her pillow. Well, I guess so. But maybe you should get some rest now, huh? Tiki crossed her little arms and curled up on Marinette's pillow to sleep as well.
I think I'm gonna start working on that purse tomorrow. Marinette thought aloud and peeked one of her eyes open to see if Tiki was gonna say anything. I can only imagine the sudden motivation. Tiki chuckled, Marinette following. And just like that, she fell asleep. How had Cat Noir climbed his way into her heart and she hadn't even noticed?